Hey everyone, Nightlight9 here, and in this video we're going to go over the new banner that just dropped. The banner featuring Zach and Matt. And uh, let's go ahead and just get right into it. There are a lot of updates, but I may just make another video on that. Uh, I might briefly talk about the event, but I really just want to get right into this because I also plan to do some more pulls uh, near the end of this video. So I want to be able to get that all in without it being too long. So... Um, the first thing I will look at is Matt's weapon, uh, because that one, it doesn't have a costume, so I think it'll be a little bit shorter. So it's a healing weapon that also serves dual purpose, with power creep coming, uh, also takes physical defense, increases potency mid for all allies. And even at OB10, it never goes higher than potency mid, however, it can stack to high starting at OB6, um, it does not start out stacking to high though. Okay, so looking at it at OB6, here's some things I wanna look at to see if this is really uh, worth it or not. Um, these I'm not really too concerned about. The heal boost is fine because sometimes you do want to send a target here. These are whatever. But when we look at the ability, I wanna compare this to prime number because I feel like this weapon comes in one of two categories. People who already use Matt a lot and have prime number and they have it maybe even you know leveled up to ob4 ob5 ob6 and people who don't maybe they want to use Matt or they do but they don't have prime number they don't use him uh, in the heal capacity i don't know but i feel like the reason is because those these weapons kind of do the same thing they don't do it on the same level necessarily but they do the same thing and here's what i want to look at so at ob6 Centipede is healing 54% of max healing potency to all allies. Whereas prime number at OB6 is going to be 69%. You are losing out on 15% heal across three allies. Uh, however, you are gaining physical defense increase at a mid potency level that lasts at OB6 12 seconds. That is, I think, extremely strong. I think that makes this weapon an extremely good weapon because there are some fights where it's all about the heal and in those cases you probably want this number to be higher right however this number is also based on your heal stat <laughs> and uh one thing that we notice is with the r abilities here prime number at ob6 is only 23 points to your heal Whereas boost heal on this weapon is literally double that at 46 points at OB6, which is huge. Just to show for comparison, uh, guard stick here is the only weapon that I can personally think of that has this much of a boost heal and an R ability at OB6. Um, everything else that I've seen is, is not that high. For example, uh, Serpent Eater is notoriously high, uh, but it's only 34 points at OB6. You know, some of your main weapons like Fairy Tail, you're looking at 23 points, just like Prime Number. And again, 69% healing potency. And the second R abilities on, on these, not that good, right? Not, not really uh, what we're really trying to look for here. So for that reason, I do think that this weapon is really, really good. Um, I even like that, so Prime Number, if you remember, has a buff debuff extension here in the third uh, Materia slot. Whereas this gives you the R ability for it, making the weapon again way more useful because now instead of just one uh, ability, you can actually have multiple abilities that get that, that extension. So I think this is really good. Here's where I would caution if you already have the prime number you're basically saying do i trade it in for something that has a uh, better r ability for heal which is a big deal but not not the end all be all uh and this aoe physical defense increase which you know for things like bahamut that could definitely be a huge deal because it is something that you need So being able to have your healer do both of these at the same time feels like this weapon was actually just kind of meant to do the Bahamut EX fights. Uh, so I do think it's really good. But whether or not it's actually a pull right now or a wish list, I think is 
basically on uh do you already have prime number built up for matt and the reason i say that is this if you already do i feel like the overlap is such that like are there not any better weapons that you could be building as a free-to-play player mind you are there not any better weapons that you could be building to increase your team's power that's that's kind of the take that i'm going to have on this i think this is really good i think if you want to use matt as a healer uh this is i would say better than prime number in my opinion by a lot i think it just has way more utility it's a little bit niche because of this physical defense because obviously in fights where you don't need that and you need magical defense maybe you would just rather have the higher healing potency but i think that's a pretty low downside so ultimately i think you got to make your decision on whether or not you know you care about this weapon based on that now we'll go over to what we came here for i think most people anyway most people are going to be excited about zach because they actually gave him a costume as well as far as the looks of the costume i'll be honest i, I i'm not as excited as i was when i saw the video uh when i saw the video when i saw the leaks like even just looking at this little thumbnail down here it looks way cooler there somehow than i think the way that they've actually made it here i don't know why that is it's just not as flashy like the embroidery doesn't really stand out very well honestly i i'm not that crazy about this i mean i i, I want to like it because like i said i think this thumbnail looks badass but i i just don't feel like the actual costume that they put out is is that good the sword looks really cool though uh very very into that sword okay so let's go ahead and take a look at the weapon ceremonial sword um wow this is a really really good weapon for zach um ob10 you're looking at 1400 percent physical non-elemental damage also a physical attack increase 35 seconds to self potency five uh and in which by the way you only have to get it to ob6 to have that um maxing out at 36 physical ability potency and 40 attack i think that's that's perfectly good uh pretty pretty good attack stats over here as well uh and then physical physical and a circle sigil boost it's, it's amazing <laughs> i mean this is really good this is really really good uh even at ob6 i mean 1220 percent potency high out of the box like that's good that's really good if you get one copy of it it's still not bad 700 percent physical non-elemental damage at just no ob at all um which will go up i assume at ob1 probably to like 840 or something around there um you know the mid post i mean this is huge this is a really big deal it's like combining amaranth's claws uh with you know the the weapons like the dane sword and the new weapon that tifa got um the guide gloves uh you know those it's combining those two which which makes it extremely good yes it does take one extra atb um i think the the downside to that is that you know normally if you buff yourself you want to then just be hitting as many of the damage numbers over and over and over uh where this is going to take a little bit longer because although it buffs you in one hit um you're not going to get quite as many attacks off afterwards however uh for those of you who saw my testing when i did aonibi the biggest problem is that missing out on an attack is actually a big deal because you don't miss out on an attack with this uh by the time let's just say I mean you're you're looking at 20 right the, the common denominator between four and five is 20. so by the time you get 20 atb with a four atb move you've used it five times and with a five atb move you've used it four times however and that would be a big difference except for the fact that because you're hitting even on the buff i think that comes out to being equal to be honest with you um and because there's 30 seconds, let's be honest, you're not going to get off 20 ATB anyway. So I think this weapon is, I would say it's better. I, I would say as far as attack weapons go, I believe I'm going to go out on a little bit of a limb here. I mean, I haven't been looking at all this stuff too long. So bear with me on that. 
But I'm gonna say I think it's the best, the best physical damage weapon in the game. I think they literally just <laughs> came out with the Tifa one on the crossover banner and said, yeah, 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 go for it. And then they were like, watch this. And I mean, this is just amazing. Yeah. Now, the downside is if you're not building Zack, if you don't have Zack built, can you still make use of this? Absolutely. Uh, and I'll talk about that in just a moment. But it is a little bit more difficult or, you know, it doesn't lend itself as easily to slipping Zack in if you don't have any of his other stuff built. However, I think that you could. And I, I'm going to be... I'm going to be really honest with you. Does it make me regret pulling so hard for Tifa? Ultimately, no, because I love Tifa. But if it wasn't for that fact, then yes. Because this is just better. And that's it. It's just better. So, yeah. Now, what the downside is, is that this costume does not benefit the weapon they love to do this with zach and i really truly don't understand it they love to put they did this with twinkling star too they love to put an, an amazing dps weapon or an amazing weapon in general with a costume for him that does not go with it i don't understand why they do this to him i really truly don't because if you notice with tifa and her costume that weapon guide gloves and, the, and that costume go together hand in hand. Uh, when we had the Amaranth stuff and the Zidane sword stuff, those costumes went with those weapons hand in hand. This does not. I mean, the boost HP, sure, but boost buff and debuff extension? Why? Like, what? It doesn't make any sense. Um, it really doesn't. I don't think that many people are using Zack in that role. I mean, you're sure. You might use him for like the water debuff, right? He's got some good ones, but to the extent that you would take this over something else, like, because this isn't really meant for DPSing, this is meant for utility. I don't get that. And it definitely doesn't stack with this because you're getting that attack increase buff every time you use this. And if you need to use this to do this damage, you're getting this anyway. You don't need the, the debuff extension. So, or the buff extension, sorry. I uh, ultimately, I'm, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. So, uh, real quick, I'm going to go over a couple things. One, why do I think you could just decide if you don't even use Zach? Why you, especially if you're like um, kind of like a day one or month one player, uh, why you could just plug this in? Because let's think about it. If we're making a, a character, right, from like, let's say from scratch, um, I mean, most of the stuff that you're going to plug in, you only need two weapons. And even then, the second one isn't that big of a deal, right? So if you had it, you plug in that weapon here, okay, which is amazing. Then you plug in a sub weapon. And let's just say you didn't hardly have like your, I mean, honestly, mine's not very impressive, right? But there's been three free weapons, so you plug in that. Everything else that you're plugging in anyway is a sub weapon, and it doesn't have to be exact sub weapons, right? It could be whatever sub weapons you want. Uh, same thing with material. And okay, yeah, like I said, I'm you know I don't really have any costumes that I think go with it right now. They might release one that's good in the future, or maybe I missed one along the way. But you could absolutely make that weapon work. And let's be honest, the one other thing that's really good about that weapon is that it's featured. It's not the crossover, which means it's not exclusive. You can wishlist this weapon in the future, which means ob tenning it is possible. And yeah, that's that's kind of the banner review. Now, I already went in for Tifa really hard, and the Tifa weapon is limited, and I use Tifa all the time. So with that being said, I have purchased the monthly um, the monthly treasure hunt pack, and um, just you know, other than that, been logging in, getting my free crystals. I'm up to 24 crystals, so I am going to go back in on Tifa. We are on stamp card four. So I've done uh, one. I did one other page for this because I needed one more to get this guarantee right here. And I can tell you uh, with that one pull, because I did that like the very next morning after my initial pulls, I got the guaranteed. I did not pull a copy of Guide Gloves otherwise. So, so far we have made it through 
pre-stamp cards and starting the fourth i have not gotten a single copy of the guide gloves that was not guaranteed and yeah i think i i, I don't know i was over fifty thousand crystals in so i think it was 20 pulls to be exact to be exact i think it was 20 pulls so far that i've done so wish me luck here we go hopefully i get i need two copies to be six that's and i'm i'm really uh it's either it's either uh hit or bust for me so that's kind of that's the situation i find myself in but i really do want this i want this to work and uh there we go i'm gonna do a lot of skips unless i hit one copy then i will uh start slowing it down to see if uh we get guaranteed anything but so far, the uh, luck has continued in the same trajectory after that first one. A four stamp, that's pretty nice. The stamps don't matter quite as much at this point because I can't force the event weapon. But if I guess if I get to this guaranteed down here, that at least gives me some extra hope. So that's kind of nice. This is a guaranteed four star. I don't think I've ever pulled this much on a banner. I don't think I've ever gotten this far on page four before. So this is kind of uncharted territory and again just a whammy three stamps pretty good i really would like to get one copy before i hit the end of this here uh, because I think at this point we do have enough crystals to guarantee to clear that fourth page. Gosh. Wow, no Tifa. So unlucky. I did get another copy. or uh, Yeah, second copy of Ultimatic, which I'm really happy about. Uh, Crystal Sword Z. I think this is actually also good for me. I'll have to double check that, but I think that's also pretty Okay, continuing on. So far, we are on the verge of clearing out a fourth stamp card and have not gotten a single copy of the featured weapon except for what was guaranteed. Uh, it was just, just blowing my mind at this point, I'll be honest with you. Oh, man. I'm going to watch this one because the next one's guaranteed. Yeah, and I'm not gonna lie, I need something to raise my spirits at this point. I'm feeling pretty pretty down about this this entire crossover banner. Okay. See, that's that's what I needed. I just needed something, you know, a little suspense, a little drama to kinda ant me up. Because I don't know. I, I just can't believe that I'm almost through four cards and haven't gotten a copy of it. <laughs> this is Barrett. <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm really happy to have that. Uh, I think that that's an OB6 enemy launcher. All right, so I just checked, and that it's actually OB5 enemy launcher now. And that Crystal Sword Z was an OB6. I'm going to leave the Crystal Sword on, though, because OB7 is one more R ability for fire potency, which is what I mainly use this weapon for. So we're going to go back in. We've got four more draws, and I still need two copies of the weapon. This is going to be a guaranteed five star, which is awesome. And, uh, hmm, wow. But if I did get a copy of the gloves, then technically that wouldn't be a guaranteed copy. However, it's not, it's not hard. Automatic. I mean, you know, it's funny. Ultimatic is a good weapon. It is not nearly as good as it was before they came out with Tifa's new gloves and now <laughs> Zack's new weapon. So there is that. Um, but it is still good, and I think it will make Glenn um, a much more useful character for me. We are going down in a blaze of glory at this point. 
Uh, just a real blaze of glory here. This is the worst luck that I have ever had. I can tell you at this point on any gotcha that I've ever played. Uh, because I had enough, I think, to do eight pulls. I think after this, I have enough to do one. So let's say this is pull seven. I think this is 27 pulls. If we don't hit the weapon. 27 pulls without a copy of the weapon, uh, which I feel like is kind of absurd. Trying to stay positive, but it is it is very hard. As I hit literally everybody except for Tifa on all of these. Well, this is the last one. Uh, which I would still be happy for a copy because it would put me to OB5, which makes OB6 feasible. Um, you win some, you lose some. And I this, this crossover was just not for me. Um, <laughs> it is kind of cool that I see the Mirasame cloud here. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say. So, like, hopefully, hopefully this goes well. <laughs> oh, my oh, my God. Well, I got a lot of stuff for Glenn here because I um, got the pumpkin lamp post. Uh, I got hardcore squad, which I don't actually need. Um. I got two extra copies, so ultimately with this banner, three copies of Ultimatic, pretty cool, uh, because I have a pretty good amount of Glenn um, specific weapon parts. But that's it. That's it. I'm done. Um, I don't know. Am I done? There's like still, I think, a week left for me to get more. I really, really, truly wanted this. So it would be six. And I thought for sure, I thought for sure I would get two copies of it today. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't really have <clears throat> a whole lot more to say. I think that's, that's about going to wrap it up. Um, I will say this, I'm getting a, like, when I do my account review, there's a lot of OB5 weapons in here that are looking pretty good. Uh, but these, these guide gloves, um, I mean, I guess, I guess at least we, you know, hit a lot of the parts along the way. Um. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just not in the cards. Well, let me know what you guys thought. Uh, I, I'd specifically like to know what you thought of the banner. Let me know what you thought about my luck. Uh, if you had as bad a luck as me, um, I'm sure there's some of you that have had worse luck. So you know what? It might cheer me up. Um, but yeah, subscribe for future content if you're not already. If you are, just know that I appreciate each and every one of your support. And as always, thanks for watching.